going on guys so we're gonna right, back with a video and today we're gonna be talking about the top 15 cards in class real for ladder yes ladder if this was for tournaments the list would be a little different a few days ago i uploaded a top 10 least used cards followed by a video where i ranked all 14 legendaries but i never did a top card video and you guys have been asking for it so here we go before we get into that though i wanted to mention the giveaway winners for the most recent two giveaways i had in december if you want to know more about that i'll talk about it at the end of the video so i can actually get into this top 15 so without further ado let's get right into it number 15 the inferno dragon well what can i say if you know how to use it for only four elixir you can definitely wreck havoc in the arena once it's locked on to practically anything it's over unless of course you have something to counter that like a zap electro wizard or apparently flying zappies it's currently being placed in 17.8 percent of all decks making it the 15th most used card in the game Number 14, the Goblin Barrel. This card has always been in the top card videos and will always be. It's been a pretty good card and it still looks good in 2018. If Supercell were to nerf it though, for whatever reason by the way, which I don't think it'll happen, but if it did, that'll probably change where it's at right now. It's not OP and it definitely can't take out an entire tower by itself. So other than that though, it's currently at a 18% usage rate. Number 13. The Valkyrie. I was quite surprised that the Valkyrie was up here, but I guess it's because it's used a lot in lower arenas. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't seen it in decades, but uh, it's a good card and it's a pretty nice medium tank as well. I think the reason why I don't see it much personally is because once you start unlocking all these different cards, you're presented with much better options like the execution or whatnot. That doesn't stop it from being in 18.1% of all decks though. It's a pretty decent card. Number 12, the baby dragon. I've been using this little guy for as long as I can remember. It's been on my main deck for months, and even though I've recently swapped it for the hunter, that doesn't mean anything. That's just personal preference. It's a medium tank, does splash damage, and it also flies. For only four elixir, you literally can't ask for more. And as of January 2018, this car has a usage rate of 19.3%, almost at 20. Number 11. The Witch. This is the first card to be over 20%, 20 20.3 to be specific. It's not bad for 5 elixir. It does splash damage, spawn skeletons, and with those skeletons, it can aid in taking out a whole tank, like a giant or golem. I personally don't use the Witch anymore, but I've had my fair share of days where it was in my deck. For 2018, it's looking good, and I don't really have any complaints. I mean, who hates the Witch? And why would you if you do? I mean, as long as a car does what it's supposed to do, everything is good. Number 10, the Log. I'm pretty sure we all know by now, but just in case you want to hear it again, I love the Log. It's my favorite legendary. Like, it's so simple, yet it does a lot. Well, not a lot like it doesn't reset buildings and stuff like that, but for only two elixir, I mean, that's a small amount of purple stuff and it can take out hordes of troops and push practically anything back. Like, you just drop it and it either takes something out or pushes it. In my opinion, the reason why it's at 21.2% is simply because you can fit it in any deck. It's only two elixir, so you can just pick it up and put it in your deck and boom, you even forget about it sometimes. Number nine. The Knight. If you play a lot of tournaments, you know that the Knight is used more than everyone thinks. It's a medium tank, and unlike other medium tanks, this one is fairly cheap and is actually a medium tank. Three elixir, and you basically have a mini giant. I wouldn't underestimate it either. Every hit does a lot of damage, and it's pretty hard to take out if you only have cheap cards. Well, if it's goblins and barbarians, you're fine, but log, zap, arrows... No, it's not really going to do much. Currently, it's at 21.6%, topping it as the ninth most used card. Number 8, the Electro Wizard. This card was released about a year ago, and it's been a pretty good card so far, so yeah. It can reset cards, retarget, and even has a deploy zap which can take out small troops. To be honest, it isn't bad for 4 elixir. With a 21.7% usage rate, it's currently standing strong and I don't see it going anywhere. It's been nerfed a few times and buffed I think probably once, so I don't think that'll happen again, but you know, I think it's in a perfect position right now and it's well balanced. Number 7, the fireball. We all know why this is here, obviously it's an essential part of the game. Not exactly that you need it, but everyone has used it before because, well, 
at the start of the game, that's all you have. Everyone knows how to use it. It's the most basic spell possible. The fireball here is at a fair position of number seven. It's currently rocking 23.9% usage rate, which is not too shabby. Number six. The Minion Horde. Besides the fact that it can be taken out by practically any spell, it's a very strong card and it can even take out an entire tank. The little minions are no joke. About a year ago when I made this exact video, the Minion Horde was all the way at number 15 for some reason. So over the course of numerous updates, it's kind of picked up and eventually ended up at number 6 at 24.2% usage rates. Number 5. The Hog Rider. Everyone has used the Hog Cycle deck at least once, and if you haven't, you should probably try one. The Hog is one of those cards that rarely gets nerfed and buffed simply because it's balanced. Many people say it's OP and it needs a nerf, and I strongly disagree. The Hog can be countered in many ways, so OP? I don't think so. It currently sits at 27.5%. And it's also a uh, top 5. It's fairly rare to see it as a top 5, but I guess as of January, people are kind of loving the Hog Rider right now. Number 4. The Wizard. One of the first original cards in Royale and Clash of Clans, the Wizard is well known and it's actually a pretty nice card for 5 Elixir. It's the same cost as a Witch, but the Witch doesn't do as much damage as a Wizard. This card is fairly strong and it's also very balanced. Not much to say about it, you know? At 27.8%, it's the last card on this list under 30%. Number 3. The Arrows. The most powerful way to take out small hordes of troops it's hard to pass. At a whopping 30.9%, the arrow lands at the third most used card in Clash Royale. Obviously, like I said earlier, this is a list for ladder only. So for tournaments, maybe it wouldn't be the top three, but it would still be the top 15. And by tournaments, I'm actually referring to challenges and whatnot. So yeah, number two, the Skeleton Army. This card has been one of the top cards for ages. Ever since I started doing these, like since the first one in 2016, the skeleton army is always there. So what is it with these, uh, what is it, like 16 of them skeletons? What is it? Why are they so popular? Why are they so loved by many people? For only three elixir, it's risky, yes. But if you deploy it at the right time and, you know, kind of strategize it, it can take out tanks and even entire pushes. This card is currently being placed at an insanely high 39.7%. That's over a third of all matches. This of course changes by arena, but 1 out of 3 is simply an average. It's not a bad card for 3 elixir, so yeah. And finally, on to number 1, we have the Zap. At 44.2% usage rate, this is the first and only card over 40%, meaning almost about half of everyone is using the Zap. That's a lot. There's no other card that is being used as much as this one. Moreover, in tournaments, the Zap is almost at 60%. I think we can all agree the Zap is the best card in the game for any situation. For only two elixir, it does wonders. The log is also two elixir, but they each have their own advantages, so, you know, you gotta pick either one or just bring both. So guys, I think that should be it for the top 15 cards in Clash Royale. If you guys want to continue to see these after every update, just let me know. I kind of stopped making them a while back, but I kind of like doing them again. So, you know, just comment below letting me know. Also, like I mentioned, the giveaway winners were announced uh, in December. I've been a little busy, so I haven't been able to announce them before January, but... Here we go. The left side is for the collab giveaway with Eclipse, and the right side is my personal December giveaway. If you didn't win though, don't worry, I have another one going on for January, so all you gotta do is click the link down below, and you're good to go. So with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I want to thank you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Tell me what you guys think below in the comment section if you like to. See you on the next one. Peace!